Hey, how's it going, guys? You only want to hear with another more replay. Let's see. Let's have a look at the draft here. We have Chaos Knight safely, probably. Yeah. Uh, Grimstroke 5, Chantress 4, Dawnbreaker 3. Yeah. And then Puck Med. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Uh, here for the die, we have a little bit more of an interesting one. Have Ember Mid, probably Luna safe. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I'm a little bit curious about the Pudge, the Nature's Prophet, and the Willow, but uh, I uh, could be a Pudge 5 or a Willow 5. I'm not sure. I definitely like. I'm not sure how I feel about Pudge 5, but you know, it's it's been done before, it's never stopped people from doing it, so we'll see how the support lane up uh, ends up going down, and uh, who ends up being in the offlaner, but I think it's going to be the offlane uh, Nature's Prophet, so we'll see, we'll see how it turns out, it's a little bit more unconventional for sure on the dive, but we'll see how it goes, nice attempt at the hook. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, this, uh, this Enchantress and uh, Nature's Prophet going at it. Both teams really like uh, committing heavily on the same rune. Let's we'll see who gets it. Looks like the Ranger are gonna be able to collect that. Oh, my apologies, the Dire. The Radiant get the, the Dire Triangle one. And looks like this is gonna be First Blood and the Nature's Prophet. First and foremost, my artistry. <laughs> It does end up going to the Grimstroke, perhaps you wanted to give it to another core, but you know, the fact that you get first blood, you're, you're still gonna be pretty happy about that, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be picky about who gets it or upset about it, just the mere fact that you got first blood, good enough. Mm, this Puck, Puck Ember, and, um, should be interesting to see how uh, this Ember does, because this Puck, uh, this Puck trades really well, and you know, those right clicks and it may not seem like it you know like what 55 damage you know it may not seem like it but uh, if he keeps keep clicking you uh, eventually he's gonna kill you so no that sounds kind of dumb but that's kind of how uh puck works he just clicks you a lot um yeah look 200 hp already like, that was a little bit of a Maybe he took a little bit too much damage there, you know, just jumping forward so aggressively, but still look at the look at the health and the Ember Spirit. So look over at the top lane. Looks like it is gonna be a five touch. <laughs> yeah. I mean the, this Lena this Lena, this Luna is not too upset. Uh just because, you know, she's ranged, she's able to hold her own on her you know, she's able to hold her own just the fact that she's arranged against a melee core. Wow, oh, nice uh nice lumer beam into the hook. Nice cut away at the tree. Uh, they're gonna end up getting the kill. The rot doing damage, but the heals coming through. Not enough. Does end up getting the kill. This punch might be in a little bit of trouble, but nope. Hammer uh, in nine seconds, so I, I don't think he's gonna be able to get that kill. Very nice movements by the uh, by the dire. You know the lunar beam into the hook. Very nice setup. Luna getting gone on. Hook to bail her out, very nice. Uh, in the meanwhile, Puck ends up going down in the mid lane. That's, uh, and I think that was just straight up a solo kill. Does he have chains? Yes, he does. Let's have a look. Let's rewind a little bit further back. That's a little, that's a little bit too low. Maybe before he dropped down so low. That should be it. So, Orb misses, silences him. And, you know, the Ember Spirit knows that he's got no spells. <laughs> he does get he does end up getting his career, but it looks like he dies for the career Unfortunate Very unfortunate. That was also kind of unfortunate the fact that the, that the bowl is landing on him Yeah, he had, he had quite a he had quite a few creeps around him I think he had like maybe three or four creeps around him and it could have jumped into any other any of the creeps uh, But it but it jumped into the park a little bit unfortunate there But yeah, also a little bit a little bit aggressive on the puck, uh, using his spells like that and then stepping out forward so much. Bolas, Remnant, he's just gonna overweigh. This, this Pudge really living on the edge. Uh, the Zombreaker's chasing him. But, you know, some wasting time looking over at the top lane. A kill happens over at the bot lane. 
Oh, how could it not? Maybe that was a little bit too much. Whoop. Oh, there. That should be fine. So, looksies. Oh, green stroke. Inkswell. Yeah, unfortunate. This, uh, yeah, this Chaos Knight. Whoa, this. In trouble. This Dark Willow but should be okay. She has a Shadow Realm, so. Able to get away if, uh, if he needs to. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's too much setup for the. For the Nature's Prophet to be able to deal, like, um. This Inkswell with the Stroke of Fate actually deals so much damage. Nice Inkswell. Looks like it's gonna be a second kill. What? Yeah. Last click, last last hit ends up doing it. Is he gonna get the return kill? No, he doesn't. Unfortunate. A little bit of a. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a. Uh, like uh, this this nature's profit getting a little bit uh, out of position, you know, uh, carried away. But I'm gonna rewind so we can look at a double kill that happened top at the same time. Nice hook onto the Dawnbreaker. Ends up hammering away. Is Pudge still rotting? He went, oh no. Unfortunate. That was actually so close to just uh, being a nice kill onto the Dawnbreaker. She has a bottle able to regen herself a little bit, but this, uh, this Enchantress with the Centaur coming through with the stun and then the heals, managing to keep the Dawnbreaker alive. And they get double kill. That was, that was, yeah, wow. That was very unfortunate for the. Oof. Wow, unfortunate. <laughs> Even calls GG. Oh, douche. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate for the Dire. The the fact that they're not able to find the kill on the Dawnbreaker, and in the end, both the Luna and the Push end up going down. So, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> This, uh, this Chaos Knight wanted to make a go onto this Nature's yes, Prophet. Bottle refill for the for the Ember Spirit, very nice. Ooh, ends up eating the orb, that's a good that's a good chunk of damage, but you know he has his bottle, so you'll be able to read in that no problem. Nice pull going on. Uh oh, this Luna is in trouble. Nice stun to cancel out the last hit of the Dawnbreaker, but it might still be in trouble. This Pudge showing up, no problem. Hadouken on the Satire. Well, he ends up getting the kill on the on the Dawnbreaker, but you know this Enchantress free pickings, double kill. Very unfortunate on this top lane. This uh, this Enchantress is actually doing so much work for for the Radiant here. TP's over, looks like he's trying to snipe the courier. Radiant Manages turn. to get it, very nice. Uh, I wonder if the Chaos and is gonna come over, try to get uh, Redemption, a little bit of uh, payback for his courier. And it looks like they are, but I don't think he's gonna have enough vision. No, he doesn't, nice sprout to keep him away. It's like a little bit of a go on to, does he manage to get away? Yeah, he manages to get away. A little bit of a go on to this uh, Enchantress. Nice hook, uh, this Dawnbreaker blocking the hook, but yeah, so the chat just doesn't end up going down anyway, she was a little bit too low. This, uh, this Luna actually not doing too bad considering, uh, considering how, how it's going. Nice, uh, Lunar Beam to cancel the last hit, but yeah, like, considering how... How, how not so good your lane has been going and considering you have it a 5 punch on your lane it's actually not doing too bad oh maybe you got wow i was about to say maybe you got baited in but not so much end up getting the kill uh we're in stroke dtp over and looks like this nature's property is end up gonna go down yeah this grim stroke is actually so much damage with this ink swell like way too much damage and then you just profit has no no survivability items. He has no um, no raindrops either. Unfortunate. 
Enchantress is gonna collect the kill onto the onto the willow. Hook misses, but they end up getting the, the Enchantress anyways. And it looks like the Grimstroke might be next. Ember Spirit does have no mana, but still has his bottle, so it should be fine. A Remnant should be enough to damage to kill it, but he's just gonna right click it. And double kill for the for the Ember Spirit. Very, very neat rotation right there. Oh, he almost gets the bottle refill. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, very neat rotation by the Ember Spirit because they were getting away with a lot over at the top lane. This Nature's Prophet is uh, a sad boy right here. Switch over to the Night Wars already before I forget. And let's see, yeah. This, uh, this Nature's Prophet is a very sad boy. He's uh, been dying quite a bit. Puck manages to get away, drops a little bit low, but you know, has the orb, gets a bottle refill, so it's good as new. And now the coil coming through onto the Ember Spirit. Three heroes, never mind, four heroes coming onto the mid lane. That's definitely gonna be a dead Ember Spirit. Are they gonna try to make something more out of this, or is this gonna be it? Is they gonna put a little bit of pressure onto this tier 1 mid? Luna in the jungle, farming away. Has a Mask of Madness, going for the treads next. And yeah, looks like uh, the the Dyer have no no intention of defending this tower, as long as the Ember Spirit is dead, rightfully so. The, their heroes haven't, ha haven't been having the greatest of starts, and yeah, 8 minutes and 3k net worth lead. This, uh, this Chaos Knight starting to get, yeah, Midas, he's... Uh, it's getting a little bit worrying on the on the side of the dire. This uh, this chaos knight is a little bit of an issue. You don't have a great way of uh, dealing with the illusions. I mean, I guess you have the ember, depending on what he decides to go. But for now, he's just going the yule's uh, the yule scepter. It's nature's prophet, you know, trying to do his trying to do his best. Puts out the side lane, gets some farm, but he's getting hunted. Oh, are they gonna find them? Starts seeping over. He does have the coil. Yeah, no way. I even heard the sound that uh, that ET manages to get ETP away, but looks like it's gonna be a dead Nature's Prophet. Ember Spirit is gonna come over. Actually, Nature's Prophet gonna be able to survive, and now they're turning the kill around onto the Chaos Knight. He's dropping low. Wand. Not gonna be enough to keep him alive, and the Pug does actually end up going down to the Pudge. I didn't quite catch that, I thought like he over the way, but he does end up going down to the, to the Pudge. Inkswell, well that's not gonna be enough to keep you alive my friend, and double kill for the Ember Spirit. And just like that, they turn the game around, you know? 2k net worth lead, now going down to uh, I mean 3k net worth lead, now dropping down to a 2k net worth lead, you know? Dire, Dire making some good moves. They're gonna take this bot tower as well. You know, the fact that, they, that the Nature's Prophet managed to survive that was a big win for them because, I mean, big win for the Nature's Prophet because he has not been able to catch or break this whole game. Very nice, uh, very nice play, you know, baiting the Nature's Prophet. Getting the return kill onto the Chaos Knight and the Puck. This Chaos Knight definitely needed to die because he, uh, he was having way, way too much of a good game there. And yeah, this Nature's Prophet need a little bit of a break there. He's gonna TP top, you know, get some of that safe farm right there. Chaos Knight, looks like he's gonna be going for the Onblade into the SNY. Willow going for the Aether Lance. Glimmer. Actually, Witch of the Blade, interesting. I mean, yeah, this Enchantress has been having a really good game. Like, really good. Level 9. Same level as the Ember Spirit. Hammers away, not quite enough. Manage, end up, ends up going down. This Bedlam is actually so much damage. Uh, yeah. Bedlam is so much damage, it's actually crazy how um, you know, position 4, position 5 can literally almost solo a, a core if, uh, if he's not careful, if he just gets caught out. See what this puck is going for. Looks like he's gonna be going for the Dagon. Okay, he has the boots of travel and now going for the Dagon. Interesting. Before you used to see uh, the pucks going for the Witch's Blade and you know the BOT, but this puck going for the Dagon, that magical burst damage. I mean, against the uh, you know 
Nature's Prophet, Luna, Willow, things like that. It's very effective. And even the Ember Spirit, if he doesn't have his Flame Guard up, then uh, yeah, he's quite squishy. Nice hook coming through onto the uh, Dawnbreaker. And that's gonna be a kill. This Bedlam is actually so much damage. Like, uh, it's really good for, for setting up kills. Luna farming away. Looks like she's, she's gonna be going to Manta into the BKB. No messing about. It's fucking a little bit of trouble. Wow. Hook doesn't end up landing. A little bit unfortunate there. Uh, that definitely could have been a kill onto the puck, but a hook a little bit off the mark, so he doesn't end up getting away. Orchid coming through for the Nature's Prophet, and then the the Witch's Blade looks like this. Uh, Nature's Prophet just wants to be able to deal as much damage, as much as much damage as he possibly can. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dawnbreaker going for the arm blade actually, okay. He's gonna get gone on. Oh, the lesson actually end up going down onto the cliff, but looks like the willow is not gonna chase that. And Pudge ends up going down. Nature's Prophet TPing over. Bolas is on cooldown. You might want to be a little bit careful. It does have his Maelstrom now uh, to be able to deal with the Chaos Knight Illusions a little bit better. But yeah, looks like that's gonna be the end of the conflict. Push ends up going down and uh, that's the end of it. Does have his urn, hood. Yeah, being a push 5 definitely, uh, definitely does not feel good because... You're not gonna be getting any items anytime soon. Uh, this Ember Spirit eyeing out the eyeing out the pug didn't actually think he was gonna orb to orb onto the crease, but he did. Now orbs away. Oh, but this Luna is on the case. Wow, nice jump away. Uh, you know, nice silence. Uh, what's it called? W warning rift onto the other side of the trees. But Chaos Knight looks like he's end up gonna go down to the Dire. A uh, little bit of an invasion coming by the Dire, but they get punished. They do end up killing the the Chaos Knight, but they end they end up losing the Pudge, the Willow, and the uh, Nature's Prophet for it, which look to be the heroes that set up the gank on the Chaos Knight. Luna doing pretty nicely considering how bad of a game she had at the beginning. I mean, I wouldn't say it was horrible, but it wasn't ideal. Definitely think this Chaos Knight had a much better start. Nice dodge. Haste on the on the puck. Oh, nice dodge of the Ink Soul right there. Very cool, very cool stuff. I mean, so far, you know, just like little skirmishes going on here and there, and uh, you know, they get like, support, uh, they, then they get away. Uh, a little bit of a big kill happened onto the Chaos Knight, but you know, the the Radiant responded uh, pretty well and ended up killing the, the heroes that ganked them. Spock gonna TP out, back to base, get some mana. Actually, has his Blink Dagger now, very needed. Uh, just, you know. To set up uh, that extra initiation. Don't break your farming the lane. I don't know. This Luna wants to make a go at him, and they have the Pudge as well. Oh. But then she's probably gonna TP over. They're even gonna drop the Eclipse for it. Okay, they really want that kill. Nice arm blitz switching. Oh, but this member coming through, securing the kill. They even dropped the Eclipse for it. They really wanted that kill. A little bit unfortunate that the hook didn't land initially. That definitely would have uh, facilitated the kill a lot. But yeah. This Puck wanted to go into this uh, this Willow even. Oh, the Fear. Fear on three. Wow. Even coiling for it. Mm. He does end up going down, unfortunately, to the Poison of the Witch's Blade. Yeah, this enchanter is level 11, that's actually crazy. Ember Spirit silenced. There's no coil. And he does have his flame guard running. Not anymore, but he should be able to chill from magic damage. Not anymore. Now, he's silenced again. He doesn't He doesn't have a remnant set up. He didn't go for the jewel scepter. He ended up going for the millstorm. I mean, yeah, for the millstorm instead and doesn't have a defensive item. 
now this nature's profit getting gone on. Puck, get some top of him. Yeah, reality rift back and then you're dead and then I don't know where. Pudge going down as well. Interesting. Uh wow. Very very unfortunate set of events. You know, your your Ember Spirit gets picked off and then you decide to take the fight somewhere around here in the mid lane. Mm, yeah. Strong stroke getting gone on, but uh, you, you don't have the sufficient damage and uh, the rating heroes are lurking about, so probably best to stay away from that kill. Ember Spirit changes his item from the Yule Scepter into the BKB. No messing about. He's had enough of this uh, magic shenanigans. Uh, let's see if the Puck actually, once he sees the BKB on the Ember, we'll see if he uh, wants to get the Agonim Scepter. Stonebreaker also going for the BKB. Agonim Scepter on the Grimstroke, interesting. So it's just to be able to create a Dark Portrait. Can I, it's actually pretty worth it. Uh, you know, against heroes like Terrorblade, you know, very stat heavy heroes like, you know, Terrorblade, Anti Mage, things like that. Luna, one of them. So, yeah, very very good act purchase this game. Just, uh, this, this, this Willow getting gone on and getting. <laughs> Even getting coiled again. Oh, but the hook comes through, this member. That's a kill on the puck. Very big kill. It plays. I'm gonna come down. Enchantress, dead. I mean, yeah, this Enchantress, you know, she's able to to kite against physical damage very well, but against, you know, a whole, a whole eclipse. I'm not so sure about that. Dawnbreak is gonna be coming in. But you know you don't have your pug. You don't have uh, you don't have a lot of damage. It's just it's just you. Dawnbreak, you're gonna end up going down, and now this chaos knight left with no illusions. He's in a little bit of trouble. But it looks like they're gonna uh, they're not gonna chase forward for that kill. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, you know it looked good. It looked good. You know the the solar guardian and the dawnbreaker. You know it was connecting onto three heroes. This chaos knight with uh, you know had all had like at least two or three illusions, something like that. You know it looked good for a turnaround, but you don't you don't have the damage. Uh, this chaos knight is still not hitting very hard yet, and your main source of damage are this puck and this enchantress, and you know they're dead. So in the end, you know, they just end up getting kited, the illusions end up getting killed, you know, this maelstrom doing absolute work on the illusions and yeah, they they end up getting the they end up getting the fight. Uh which is played next for this nature's prophet. This nature's prophet is going like full out damage build. He's not messing about. Oh yeah, he really wanted a fuck kill. Wow, this pudge! Actually getting the hook onto the puck. Wow, what a player. Nice pick off onto the puck for sure. This, uh, you know, I was mocking this. <laughs> I was making fun of this pudge, you know, I was like, oh, pudge precision five, who wants to do that? But so far, I mean, this pudge has been doing work, absolute work. He's gonna be going for this blink dagger next, but it's gonna be a while until you get that, buddy. So like a pause is gonna be coming through. Current stroke gonna DC. Uh, but yeah, once uh, once the player reconnects, uh, we'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys. Grimstroke has reconnected. Let's see. Looks like the Luna's gonna be for the Scotty. I think she's got another item coming because I definitely don't think she's got uh, just naked. Yeah, BK full BKB coming on his way. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Little bit of a uh, little attack. bit of a skirmish on to top here. Looks like the radiant really want to fight this. Coil onto two. Solar guardian coming through. Looks like the nature power is gonna end up going down. So there's a willow, and now the amber spirit as well. Nice illusion rune to the spell of silence from him. Wow, almost tries to dodge that out, but the puck was on top of him. Ends up getting the kill, and just like that, very good fight by the by the Radiant. Um, the Dire were a little bit, you know, a little bit ambitious, trying to join that fight as well. The, the Ember Spirit, the Luna, and things like that. But I think it was a little bit too late by the time they actually joined the fight. Uh, 
your nature's prophet and your willow are both dead. So yeah, by the time you join the fights, uh, so three v five, and the rest is history. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, they had us. They, they had a pretty good roll going. They, you know, they got the pick off on the on the puck. They were farming, you know, very aggressive positions on the map. But you know, they get uh, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit carried away. Not carried away, but you know, not not. They're not as cautious, and then they end up getting picked off. It's a nice word the rating has here. I will remember you in my celebration. Luna is still uh, top of the net worth, but um, it's a net 6k net worth lead, and this this, dra this dragon knight, this chaos knight, it's gonna uh, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. I was, <laughs> I've been watching too much of the Dota anime, you know. I was, uh, I was thinking chaos knight, and then I thought dragon knight. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the anime, you should definitely check it out. It's worth uh, it's definitely worthwhile. Checking the Roche bit, just like the Radiant, or also checking the Roche bit, thinking the the Dyer are doing it. And actually, Dyer might actually kind of, you know, they're eyeing it out. This Luna, you know, stepping into the pit here and there. Grim stroke, stroke of face, check the uh, to check the pit. Does end up seeing nothing, and it looks like the Dyer are gonna say like, nope, that's low to sketchy. Not, uh, we're not doing Roche. BKB completed for this Ember Spirit, so. And then also Luna's uh, BKB completed. I definitely think, I mean, I definitely think uh, that the Dyer should try to make a move. I definitely don't think they're uh, they're weak. And yeah, with their fresh BKBs completed, they can definitely do some work. Well, uh, this this Nature's Prophet is dead. A little bit greedy, trying to defend the, the tower here, you know, sticking around back here, but, you know, you have no defensive item, if uh, any of these heroes gets on top of you, you're pretty dead, and now you're going into the shard, I definitely think this, uh, this Nature's Prophet needs a BKB, because he's just getting picked off uh, a little bit too much by this, uh, by his magic damage. Oh, heavy TP rotations coming from this Luna, but this Luna is just BKB. Tries to eclipse, but it's not amounting to anything, and it's just gonna TP away now. <laughs> yeah, uh, a little bit antsy, angsty on the on the eclipse, like you know. Uh, yeah, like you you have no you, your team's not around you. You have no setup. There's a bunch of creeps, uh, and then yeah, you just pop pop eclipse, you know, hoping for the best and. Yeah, it doesn't end up working out, but you know, luckily he had the BKB TP, so it was fine. A little bit unfortunate that clip, Eclipse, is, uh, Eclipse is on cooldown, but you know, 100 seconds, I definitely don't think they're going to be fighting in 100 seconds. <laughs> the, uh, they've been very, you know, very static. It's been very static this game. Oh, I didn't see it. Radiant went into the Roche Pit, and uh, Chaos Knight is going to claim that Aegis of Immortality. The, the medallion of courage definitely helping out um, killing Roshan quite quickly. You know that minus armor is always very helpful against uh, against taking down Rosh. Well, I wonder what this Ember Spirit is gonna go next. Uh, this Pudge, coming up the Ghost Scepter still has no blink. Puck trying to split push. It's gonna join the fight mid. Oh. Looked like it, but not really. Thought uh, thought a fight was gonna, you know, happen, but nothing really happened. You know, both scenes kind of just staring at each other. <laughs> this Luna actually really close to to Scotty. The only saving grace of this uh, of this dire team is that this Luna is actually farming pretty damn well. So if uh, she gets farmed enough, I definitely think she uh, she'd be able to take over the game. You know, gets eggs. Like she needs she needs a lot of items, but once she has all those items, I definitely think she'll be able to to carry this game. I I definitely don't think this uh, this Chaos Knight scale is as good as the as good as the Luna. But then again, you have to be wary as, you know, as the Luna gets stronger, this Aghanim Scepter on this Grimstroke is going to get stronger, so that's something you kind of have to watch out for. 
Crimson Guard, still no BKB insights for this Nature's Prophet. Ember Spirit, Chaos Knight, just eyeing each other out. Nature's Prophet TPing over, cancelling it. Oh. Grim Whoa. Okay. Ember Spirit in trouble. Eclipse is gonna come down. It looks like they're gonna claim the Aegis on the Chaos Knight. BK uh, buyback on the Pudge. This Nature's Prophet is gonna become back, but. Alright, he's not really doing much, and now his Luna's in trouble. It's gonna end up going down, so is the Ember Spirit. Actually, it doesn't end up going down, the potions are going down, trying to help his team. This, uh, yeah, this. This Nature's Prophet, like. You know, he, t he TP'd in here, and then the, the fight's happening over here, and then. He's not right clicking anything, like he silenced the Chaos Knight, he's not right clicking anything, and then he walks all the way around to here, kind of just staring at the team, kind of like knowing that it was a bad fight and not really running away, but sticking around just for the sake of sticking around. Um, yeah, a little bit unfortunate, does end up going down, very, uh, very good fight for the, for the Radiant, uh, you know. Chaos Knight, uh, Chaos Knight gets popped, but you know that was only his Aegis, and then afterwards they just turned the fight easily. They blew the Eclipse uh, for the Chaos Knight, and then by the time the Chaos Knight, you know, respawned, the rest of the Radiant team is there and just ganks up on the on the Ember Spirit and the Luna. The Pudge did try to come in and try to help his team, but it, it wasn't quite enough, and ends up going down as well. You know, trying to tank for the Luna. Onto the high ground they go. Stonebreaker, dropping a little bit low, but it should be okay. The one's in trouble is uh, this Nature's Prophet, and he just, uh, just ends up getting critted down. And the Spirit pops his BKB, it's gonna be running out now, so he should be a little bit careful of any initiations now. Coral on cooldown. Oh, nice hook onto the Chaos Knight, but the immediate Yule Step there onto the air, so that no member comes out, very nice. Ember Spirit jumping in, actually claiming the kill on the Chaos Knight, very nice. And the Radiant are now in full retreat. Who we'll actually used them up in the air, I think it was the Puck, yeah, the Puck. Yeah, very nice by the Puck, you know, using the, uh, the Pudge into the air so that the Chaos Knight doesn't get dismembered, but he ends up going down anyways, and now this, uh... This enchanter is sticking around. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh no, that was not the bug. But I think this enchanter is still gonna end up going down regardless. I say that. This punch might end up going down though. Ooh, close to it. 100 HP. Does end up surviving and now the pug is the one in trouble. Wow, doesn't manage to orb away and ends up dying. <laughs> wow. Wow, just like that. I mean, I knew the Enchantress was gonna be dead there. It was uh, she was dead to rights. Uh, but then the Pug, you know, st stuck around, wanted to help out his Enchantress, maybe try to get a return kill. Doesn't quite end up working out. Pudge gets away, and uh, they end up getting the the Enchantress and the Pug. Very nice for the for the for the Dire. Very needed right now, cause uh, yeah, they need <laughs> they'll they'll take anything they get right now. Let's see this Luna going for the Butterfly. Willow, almost there to, his B to her BKB. Pudge has his BKB finally. That's very, very, very pog. It's Ember, what is he going for? He's got his Aghanim Scepter, okay. <laughs> uh, even the even it just Prophet TPing over trying to get that kill. That's funny. Oh, interesting. Uh, I didn't know that uh, um, Chaos Knight had a talent for for what you might call it for for cleave. Interesting. Uh, that that must have been new, and I haven't I haven't seen it. So interesting. That's very cool. Making the hero a little bit uh, much better, actually. 
because yeah that was one of his uh, one of his problems he farmed pretty damn slow smoke movement coming from radiant oh Sanger and Kaya interesting for the puck yeah he, he's had this uh, Dagon queued up from like pretty much the beginning of the game but went any every single other item other than the uh, Dagon so we'll see oh coil oh does end up getting the coil he doesn't have a TP he does pop the BKB but Eclipse coming through, but not gonna be enough. There's far too many illusions around you. And at the same time, Willow ends up going down. To yeah, wow, even the Dark Fortress is up and running for this Grimstroke. So this Luna better be careful. Fudge, gonna end up going down. And none of those heroes have buyback. Uh, Fudge doesn't have buyback. Luna doesn't have buyback. Oh no, it's Ember. He has BKB, so it should be okay. But yeah, a little bit of a close call. Uh, it looks like they're gonna move on to the racks. They're not gonna go for the tier fours. They wanna play it safe. Easy lane of racks right here. Looks like they're not gonna bother with the range. All right, looks like they're going straight for the tier fours, and. I mean, rightfully so. I don't think this. Uh, I don't think these three heroes can defend against uh, against the radiant team, and not even the full radiant team. Puck is not even there. Puck is just farming elsewhere, and uh, Dawnbreaker is hitting towers. Ember Spirit is gonna try to make a go onto the sprint stroke. Pops his BKB, and so in the kill. Very nice. But at the same time, this Chaos Knight is hitting the his throne. Fear coming through, making them back up. Oh, Ember Spirit just gets melted. What was it to the puck? Uh, wow, I actually did not see how. I mean, this is GG, but I didn't actually quite see how the Ember Spirit got melted. I like, just melted. What? Okay. He goes to the Grimstroke, gets a kill there. Terrorize gonna be coming through. Coil. Oh no! Literally to the Enchantress, uh, Hurricane Pike just, you know, they push away which blade, too much damage. Fortifications coming through, Luna is about to spawn in. Uh, we'll see if the Luna manages to do something. Oh, nice hook into the, into the fountain. Enchantress is gonna end up going down. Is that gonna be enough to deter the Radiant from going back? Might be so, no more illusions. Oh, this, <laughs> this pug wanted to click the ancient, but not really doing it. This uh, this Dawnbreaker in deep onto the t on top of the Nature's Prophet. Pug does end up going down to the Luna beam. But <laughs> this Chaos Knight literally just standing and right clicking on the throne. Like, the, <laughs> the heck can't actually kill him. Okay, okay, now, now they can. They're starting to focus him down a little bit more. Nature's probably gonna TP in, but yeah, I don't have any way to cancel the BKB TP, and they're out. <laughs> this Dawnbreaker's still in there. <laughs> this Dawnbreaker's actually so tanky. It's gonna end up going down. That was, uh, that was funny. That, was <laughs> that Dawnbreaker was in there for so long trying to fight people, but you know, he has no damage, so he's literally just there like, Hey, look at me, look at me. Uh, looks like the top racks didn't end up getting claimed, and this bot, this bot lane of racks also didn't end up getting claimed. So, uh, no mega creeps just yet, but the game is definitely looking very hard for the for the dire right now. The idol is complete on this Luna. This Luna is saying, "Screw buyback. <laughs> I don't need no buyback. Uh, we got this, guys." Uh, Roshan might be up in four seconds. So like this Willow is gonna be checking it. Is he up? Yes, he is. Roshan respawned. I wonder if the Willow actually saw it or if he had his, uh, you know, his mouse, his camera looking over at another place. It was just Chaos Knight in a little bit of trouble. Might end up going down. Does end up going down, but this Nature's Prophet also dies. Puck TPing over. Orbing, you know, it's pushing out the wave. Uh, Roshan's up. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the Willow actually saw it, but Roshan would be a good objective right now. Chaos, Chaos Knight buyback. Oh, this puck in a little bit of trouble. 
But yeah, the the leash into the silence too much for the Assemble Spirit to deal with. Had no BKB. Now Luna in trouble. Has no buyback. Is not gonna end up going down. Oh, does have buyback actually. Ember Spirit has no buyback, Nature's Pop has no buyback. Looks like they're gonna go into the Roche pit, and yeah. Juan Illusion Rune as well for the Chaos Knight. Oh boy. There's no bueno. Are they gonna try to contest this? Looks like they are. They're moving over to the Roche pit, there's no clips. So this is gonna be a little bit of a hard fight to take. Raul Mace coming through. Hook. Almost connecting on this Grimstroke. Would have been nice to finish off the kill. Nice dodge away by the uh, Willow. Fear coming through. Oh no, this Nature's Prophet is gonna end up going down. He went in a little bit too deep. Oh, Coil, whiffing. Willow is gonna end up going down. Let's die back. Now there's Luna, die back. GG. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate game. Um, <sighs> this uh, chat is this nature's profit was a little bit underwhelming, uh, and the game was all up to this Ember Spirit and the Luna. Uh, the Ember Spirit did really well, but you know, there's only so much you can do when. Uh, when you're when you only have one and a half cores, uh, it's very hard. Game with scary game gets very hard. But I definitely think the the Ember Spirit played very well. But uh, maybe the Luna made some questionable choices and uh, and then it just profit as well, in my opinion, with his uh, item choices. But but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to support the channel any way you can. You know, whether it's liking the video, you know, subscribing, sharing with your grandma, your girlfriend, your sister, your daughter, anyone. However, you're not bothered. That's good enough for me. The mere fact that you watch this video pleases me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.